Colin, what was the, the best part of your of your round today? Um, just scrambling, uh, finding ways to make birdie and, and not getting ahead of myself. I mean, days like this where you know you don't hit it as well. Sometimes you think ahead, and sometimes you you kind of wait for the next hole and you wait for that next shot. But um, still have a lot of trust in the swing. So every shot I, I had that opportunity, um, whether it went right or wrong, I was able to kind of just accept the fact and uh, move on. So is that different from maybe? say like two or three months ago when you're talking about you know, yeah I mean I, you know two or three months ago or even two weeks ago um you know if I saw a couple bad shots it was like what do I fix what do I try what do I do on this shot and um you start to get ahead of yourself and you forget that you have to hit every shot and you have to put yourself in those positions to even hit those approach shots so uh it was nice you know the last few holes hit some pretty good ones um so just kind of figure out a little tempo and rhythm uh, on the range, and uh, I think I'll be just fine. How would you compare how comfortable you feel over the ball now as compared to three weeks ago? Uh, I mean, way better. Um, I, I kind of roughly know where the ball's going, and even when I'm missing it, um, still everything's a little bit tighter, so that's, that's all you could really ask for. A pretty significant building block, it sounds like, just based on your comments yesterday of yeah. putting four or five Hun- Yeah, 100%. And uh, seriously, like last Monday was – a real big stepping stone um i mean look at today like you know i hit it poorly but the misses weren't as bad and the misses don't put me in spots that you know cause me a lot of a lot of strokes and and that's what it's about is kind of minimizing those mistakes were any of the misses a surprise um you know yeah i mean like the one i had a little stretch today i mean i chunked a five wood on uh the par five five and then hit one left on six, and that was when I really had to tell myself, okay, slow it down a little bit. Um, you know, those were kind of the shots I, I was seeing, and it's not like I'm never going to hit those again, but I got to remember, like, okay, well, what are the pieces of this little puzzle that I'm putting together um, that got me to, to what I did last week and, you know, got me through this week so far. Is it safe to assume you're trying to put the puzzle back together? Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really adding any new pieces. I mean, I've learned a lot over the past year, year and a half, um, of just golf in general. You know, even if I didn't go through this, I think just time, you learn a lot. And uh, But I know the pieces that I have and the, the, the whole puzzle, let's call it, um, I can play really, really great golf. And sometimes you don't need all those pieces, and today I didn't have it. But um, that's kind of that old school golf is where, you know, I look back when I first turned pro, is like today was one of those days. Didn't feel great, didn't hit it great. Whatever, still still posted a number and uh, move on to the next couple of days. Was last Monday like was it too much to say a eureka moment, or it was like searching for your car keys and saying like, oh, there they are, I've got them again. Um, no, we were JJ and I were pretty happy when we found it. Um, you know, it, it's not like we created something new in the golf swing. It yeah. just all made sense, and we tried to make a lot of things make sense for the past yeah. while. Uh, but you know. It, Sometimes things click, and it's, it's obviously click because it's lasted yeah. more than a day. 